pig, pig, pig. Right in front of you. Stay hooked, they're still in there. Michelle, cover your ears. Okay, now. You dropped it, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I need to go up now with your time. Hang on a second. Watch your gun barrel let Talon go check that hog. I just barely got back on her before you shot. We're field testing some new sounds today and the wind is blowing about 40 miles an hour and we kind of got down in a hole winds blowing this way and we were hoping to call something out either from our ride or from down in here and we started out with a predator sound trying to call predators we gave it about 10 minutes and nothing showed up so I switched to some new hog sounds that I'm playing with uh, one is called total chaos and that's the one I started with and I let it play for a little while and then a piglet in distress that we're calling vampigra <laughs> and uh, there's a story behind that that I'll elaborate on sometime. But anyway, these a group of hogs came from back in here, and this big sow came, and Michelle had her scope zoomed in too far and had trouble getting on the hog. And I mean, she was just a few feet away from the call, as I hope the video shows. And she actually smelt me on the call and spooked. And when she did, I immediately went back to the sound to get her to stop. And she stopped, and Michelle smacked her good. I mean, she dropped right there. And then Talon shot one way down there through the trees and dropped it, apparently. We don't know for sure, but he's hanging tight there, so I'm assuming that hog's laying there. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to go look at the hogs he's, now. He's giving us the come hither. So. Come hither, so yeah. that means the hog's down. So. Just a bullet HP from Convergent Hunting and my sounds. So. She's more of the left. Oh, I didn't think she was this far down. I barely got on her before he shot. That's a big old hog. Dang. <laughs> That's a big sow. Good sow girl there. That was a heck of a shot, son. You shot through a bunch of stuff. And that's a big old sow. That one mom shot's a great big sow too, and this one's got some size on her. And these are the first two hogs called with these new sounds. So pretty good size sow. We came into this place today and the wind is blowing from the left, which is from the west. And there's a lot of wind. This is our first time on this place. We parked over that hill right there and we decided we would work this creek bed 
we are actually tucked back into the brush and trying to call the animals out into the open field. Um, what we look for in a place is good habitat. There's a creek that runs back into that brush and hogs a lot of times will lay up along that creek bed and in the heat of the day you can call them out. But what we didn't know is that there's a wallow right here and you can tell it's been wallowed in pretty fresh today. It looks like there's a spot right there and there's a spot here and we didn't know this water hole was here we set up back that way towards that big tree there oh about 150 yards from here we set up and started calling and these hogs came out of this really thick stuff and that that creek bed is actually back in there somewhere we don't know how far we haven't walked back in there yet but but that is just solid briars and perfect bedding habitat for the hogs and sanctuary and we had a good crosswind and they came straight to the call one really broke and came and and michelle dropped her and then there was some back in the brush and talon dropped one of them but this is what we look for just dense brush water good bed and habitat we don't know where they're having to go to feed Right now there's not much food in this country, but there's probably a wheat field somewhere close by they're going to. Alamo Precision Rifles. The best rifles this side of the Pecos. APRifles.com Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Pink's Paint and Body. Decatur, Texas. Mallory Orthodontics. MalloryOrtho.com 2K Pond and Gun. Decatur, Texas. Carrillo and Tibbles, Attorney at Law.